Hey guys, today I thought I'd show you a pretty cool system that I picked up recently. It was released in, two th yeah. it was released in 2005 <coughs> by, uh, I don't know about who, but it was released in 2005. It, uh, it's really cool. It looks really cool. Cool. So anyway, here it is. This is the Zapix port. And uh it uh so it was released in two thousand five, which it came out a little bit before the Wii. So a lot of people think that this is where Nintendo got their idea to make the Wii. So, and what's really cool is the controllers. These are the actual controllers. I know in the Wii has actual controllers, and you can buy little tennis racket-looking things to put in to put the Wii remote into. This is the actual controller. Like you put batteries in this little thing. So yeah, and then it's wireless, of course. And here's the motion sensor. Right there. <clears throat> and there were there were a number of games. Uh, there's tennis, uh, baseball, golf. And golf is interesting because it comes with like a like a sensor that's like this big or somewhere in between here and here I'm guessing so and it actually you put it on the ground and then it actually like senses where you're how high or I don't know I don't have it so I wouldn't be able to tell you but there's boxing fishing there's it's actually uh there's a, it's called the J-Mat, and it works a lot like the Wii Fit, which is interesting. So, yeah, and then there were a couple uh, starter kits. I have the tennis starter kit. I actually picked this up on Amazon for $20, and it wasn't, Amazon wasn't actually selling it, there was a seller who was selling it from Amazon and he said he said uh Zavix port system with tennis and that's the only description he had so I like so I was like yeah I'll, I guess I'll try it out and no he didn't even say tennis he said Zavix port like great condition or whatever but it was in it was under the Zavix tenor tennis starter kit uh, so I was like yeah I'll try it out 20 bucks you know so when I got here I was like holy crap it came with the box and it, it's 100% complete it's got everything it, it was the system had never been opened so for 20 bucks on the, the Zebix website they're selling just the system itself for $80 so that was cool find. And I know they have a baseball starter kit too. So that was a really great find. Uh, now what another really interesting thing is well I'm sure you all know that the N64 was the last system to use cartridges, right? Well if you do, you're wrong because the Zavix port uses cartridges which was weird because this was made 2005 which was five six years ago which was quite a while after the N64 and uh... <clears throat> so the cartridges they go in like this watch this, this is really fun push it down and then just slide it It's really cool. 
it's a really great design. Um, now what I don't, I don't get is that it's got these uh, AV hookups in the back. I guess it could be for like the uh, golf sensor, maybe. I don't know. But so yeah, and uh, another uh, really cool thing is the uh, size of the Zavix port. It's very tiny. Like here, I have a normal DS game, standard Pokemon. And the size comparison, this is very, very tiny. If I had one of my other systems unhooked, then I'd show you. But actually, Game Boy, original Game Boy. This is like just bigger than the original Game Boy, which is really tiny. So, anyway, and then the size comparison for the cartridge, I have a Atari 2600 card here, and size comparison, it, they're about the same size. The Zabbix cart is a little bit bigger, but not by much. So, uh, I guess I'll show you some gameplay. Now, as I said in my last video, my edit, video editing program isn't working, so I'm just going to have to plug this in real quick. There it is. Zoom in a little. I prefer the blue controller. <clears throat> what's cool is watch. You can actually use this to uh, select your select what you're doing. One player, and then that's really cool. Except you can't go this way. It always goes to the left. Even if you swing right, it goes to the left, so let's just choose this person. Now you can do two player, but uh, it's like you just switch off, It's you can't play against each other. Now, something I noticed is that you could just stand here like this and just do this the whole time. Like, I'm, I'm pretty sure the if you're playing the actual Wii, you have to go towards the ball. But with this, you can just swing in any random place and it would hit it. It doesn't really matter where you swing. And then if you hold in the uh, button, you go closer to the net. Just zoom in a little more on that for you. Sorry about that line. It's not from the uh, system or the TV. It's from the camera. I don't know why it does that. So that that's basically the whole idea. This is a really cool system. Turn that off. Um, so yeah, uh, that's a really cool thing that I have in my collection. Um, I, I really love that I spent $20 on that whole entire set. It was a great deal. And I really took a risk because I uh, when I bought it, it was like, you know, I really hope it comes with a tennis, otherwise I'll have to buy it separately, which will probably cost me another 20 bucks, so, you know, great find. But, yeah, uh, 
I really recommend going to pick one of these up. Uh, I mean, I don't know if, if you'll be able to get a sealed sealed one for $20, but... Oh wait, it was less than 20 because I did 3 day shipping and that made it 20 so it was like $12. So that's awesome. So yeah, but don't go to their website and buy one because they're selling just the system itself for eighty dollars and check ebay or amazon maybe uh... actually i know their website they're selling like two packs like or three packs or four packs you can get two different games or a game and a system or two different games in a system but with varying prices but uh... yeah I think that's about it. I think you get the general idea. But. So, uh. Yeah. Well, I really hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you'll check out my other videos. There aren't very many. I just started. But I do have another channel, Jacob246. I'll put a uh, link in my description. Or if you're on my channel, I have a link on my channel. But. So, yeah, uh, until next time, keep gaming, goodbye.